So for the last few days it's been really really cold and uh, I did a video about doing some repairs out here and showing how I added these lights uh, so I what I didn't explain is is that the water freezes up of course every year we have to come out here and put containers of water in everybody's cage because their water will be frozen with the exception of the, the animals that are out here during the day in the flight cage, they can, if the ponds are frozen, we'll put water in one of those right there and put it just underneath that light there so it will stay thawed out. And we do the same thing with the animals in the aviary.
Okay, let's do a little bit more in depth in showing how we take care of the frozen water in the winter time. Hey guys, so see this is already frozen up. We just put water in this. So I just need to put more water in that. Get rid of this ice. All right, I know, I'm getting it. Hang on. Okay. Here you go, guys. For some reason, they scratch at it like they do their food. Look at that, now the top of the filter spillover is frozen as well. So it's supposed to warm up after tomorrow. Tomorrow we're going to have a little bit more cold. So we won't have the ice issue. Alright guys, I'm coming. <laughs> so let's give all the rabbits water and refill these out here because they've already gotten muddy. video is brought to you by Terra. So we've been using Grub Terra black soldier fly larva for about a year. I like it. I think they like it. They they go after it faster than they go after mealworms, which these have 75% more calcium than mealworms, so that's a good thing. I'm going to show the uh, the back on here too, but I just wanted to show that the front cover. So I mean, you could feed this to your pond fish, to aquarium fish, whatever. 
if you had pet turtles or lizards or something like that, you could give them to them too. Here's the nutritional facts. So 34% protein. But they're not for just here on the farm. You could take these anywhere. 